I'm not a virgin. I've seen a vagina on the internet. <laughs> It's time to stick my hand in the paper shredder. These are even more top 5 current cartoons, volume 2, part of a new top 10 video each month, forever. And now Carol's gonna drive into the courthouse to get this taken care of, so Golan, you're gonna watch Dylan while we're gone. No! I don't care about her well-being. Yeah, Golan doesn't care if I live or die, he's the best. Got time. Golan the insatiable. Golan's a banished demonic figure bunking with a little girl, teaming up to screw up the world. First impression, I would assume this was a repeat of the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy's formula, but no. While Mandy and Grim hated each other, Golan and Dylan are on the same page in terms of causing mayhem. <laughs> You'd think by doing this, they'd be a threat to people, but nope. The comedy comes in the fact nobody takes them seriously despite how many people they end up killing. I hope you can forgive me. Never! Golan says forgiveness is a sign of weakness! Now give me my tooth fairy money! It's a concept everyone loves. Little girls who fuck shit up. <laughs> This was something my expectations were already lower than Forrest Gump's IQ. A CGI reboot of Ninja Turtles on Nickelodeon. Why do they look like Nerf footballs? Golly gee whiz, Double D, this is gonna be great, and as it turns out, yeah, it's pretty great. This is so boring, I'm gonna scream. Okay, okay, we get it! It's still got that campy monster movie aesthetic while balancing more dramatic episodes. And thanks to its CG format, they take full advantage of the camera work. <laughs> Was Young Justice too serious for you and Teen Titans Go not serious enough? The 2012 Ninja Turtles cartoon fills the void of action comedy with an anime influence you got from the original Teen Titans series. There's something charming about how simple We Bear Bears is. It's three bears assimilating into human society. No magical forces or interdimensional screw-ups. It's just bears fitting in, getting internet famous, or manning a food truck. Hello, my name is Grizzly. We're here to be internet famous. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay, guys, just like we rehearsed. But we didn't rehearse any- what? Oh, where am you I? You promised you'd never do this again! I'm a lost baby! How I wish there was a small box! It's an easygoing show. I don't consider it a negative thing, but it'll definitely age itself. There's a lot of current technology and memery going on. Ten years from now, people will look at We Bear Bears and say, Oh yeah, remember when we used to carry iPhones instead of having it implanted in our skulls? Those were simple times before the... monkey incident. I think there's something really funny about bears. You can see it all over the internet that people kind of see them as like big people. You know, they're very anthropomorphic in a lot of ways. I disagree. This one time I was listening to audio recordings of a nature enthusiast and his wife being slaughtered by a bear. The recording is confirmed to be fake, but still, the story behind it changed my perception of bears. If you'd like to listen to that, there's a link to that below. Hey, you guys taking selfies over here? Pig, goat, banana, cricket, dick, boot, vagina, cricket, dick, boot, vagina, stick it, yeah! This is Nickelodeon's new show where things happen. The pig wants pickles, and then you got the goat who does other things, and that's the show, but Cricket, he does things. But he's actually a mantis, since they couldn't call him mantis, because uh, there's a character on Kung Fu Panda called Mantis. And then, and, 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 and Banana's there, it's Banana. I see the banana gourd. Okay, but there's a string attached to I it. I see the a, string. With a bag of eyes on the other end, with the uh, baboon, uh, baboon eyes, with a, <clears throat> a sauce, uh, dripping. Dripping sauce and a baboon. My sadistic sense of humor allows me to enjoy weird comedies like Uncle Grandpa or Freddy Got Fingered, but I wasn't really into this. Perhaps it's because those comedies have normal, relatable problems with outlandish solutions, but Pig Goat has outlandish problems with outlandish solutions, so there's no relatability to it. Maybe that's the reason I didn't care for it. What does the P stand for? Um, pickles. 
Pickles! That's my favorite! I was present for a screening at San Diego Comic-Con with an audience of kids and parents. The laughter there was near non-existent. They laughed a lot for Sanjay and Craig, but not this, or Harvey Beaks, or the Loud House preview. I felt so much awkward secondhand embarrassment being there, which you gotta try hard to make me feel embarrassed considering how open I am about my diaper fetishes. The twisted visuals of Pig Goat Vagina Stick It I do enjoy. I searched up the creators Dave Cooper and Johnny Ryan's art and yep, this looks like something they totally make. It reminds me of Gary Baseman's art for Teacher's Pet or the board game Cranium. So yeah, Pig Goat Banana Cricket. Cool art style. Comedy and characters isn't as good. The drawings are pretty good, but the characters are lame, okay? God, the characters are lame! I'm a loser! I wish I was dead! Oh! Oh, listen, look, wait, 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 listen. Honorable mentions. These are shows I already reviewed in other videos, so I'll likely do another one of these top fives on something not listed here eventually. With hard work and dedication, you can master the magical properties of your gem and perform your own dance. Well, I already reviewed this, but the demand to re-review Steven Universe has spiked. So much has changed since my old first impressions video. I won't do a full video of it until after it ends. So here's this section in the top five. <laughs> Okay. A series that began as wacky kid screwing around with his magical caretakers slowly developed into wacky kid learning consequences and becoming part of a team. You're one of us, Steven. We're not the Crystal Gems without you. I love the mystery aspect. It's a superhero story from Lois Lane's perspective. And if Lois was slowly gaining superpowers too. The Crystal Gems, they're made out to be a magical force while sidelining at Steven's three stepmothers. Let's do it. As you would in the perspective of a child, one is under the assumption your parents are in total control of a situation and have all the answers. But as Steven matures, the realization chips away that they're just as flawed and clueless as to what's going on as anyone else. We're bad at this. They're a broken family missing both the leader and Steven's real mom, confused to what exactly Steven's existence means. I like Peridot, she's a dumbass. And she has a funny voice, just listen to her. Hmm, maybe this is what humans call a vagina. I'm not a fucking virgin, so shut up! I've never seen a vagina. Vagina? Is that a new Pokemon? Okay, that was not her real voice, but yeah. Steven Universe is great. I'm gonna kiss Pearl on her pointy nose and throw her at a dartboard. Because we are the Crystal Gems! We're still alive, and we're still the guardians of this planet and all its living creatures. Don't you want a rematch? Psst, hey, down here! <laughs> it's turtle time! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael! Four ninja fighting turtles who battle evil from the sewers of New York City. You can never get a taxi in this town! Sewer slider or the shell side look. With their ninja skills and weapons, they're gonna turtleize the evil shrimp. Turtle power! It's time to come out of your shell. New Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures and vehicles each sold separately from Playmates toys.